my my drawing table is there. Um, this is a Reeves drawing board or a Reeves workstation, the bigger of the two, and I've had it for uh, about 12 years, I think. Um, so it was, um, it had turned pretty rickety and old, and there is a lot of paint on there still, but you know, that's not a problem. I had a couple of problems with it, and we fixed all of those. Um, because I was thinking of buying a, a real drawing table, big one, only I'll make a very swift turnaround. This is my studio, and as you can see, there is no room for a drawing table. And also, this is the place I always paint and draw, so I wanted it here. Okay, so what did we do? Um, in the first place, you may wonder what these are. These are, this is, <laughs> we, cut, we, saw, we sawed it in half. This is um, a storage tray by Studio Designs, which is also the brand that does really great looking uh, drafting tables that I wanted to buy a drafting table from originally. Um, if this hadn't worked out, I would have bought a new table and then I would have sawed um, a big chunk of wood um, out of my um, desk to um, shove the, the drawing table right in. Only the thing is, I work, as you know, I work with watercolor a lot and then it's not really okay to have a slanted worktop all the time. So what I did is they sell this storage tray, which is twice as long as this one, because this is one half and this is the other half and what it's got it's got a swivel cup and normally it would sit on the top of the working tray so the cup would swivel like that or the the it's a little basket you can take it out it's it's mesh and it holds a couple of things and there is foam um things in here um let me grab some other things because it was bigger when I got it, but I also cut that up because I, do, I don't work with um, Copic markers or alcohol markers at all. So I didn't need all of this. So we cut this piece off and now I can put some stuff in here, as you can see, pencils and um, a little ruler and some inks. But here I have an ice cube tray from my own fridge. And it fits neatly and exactly and they have really deep um, wells in it so you can actually even though it's a slanted worktop it even contains quite a bit of um, water and um, and paint therefore so um, if I work wet on dry I can very easily work on my worktop now so the other half also contains a swivel cup that would normally be swiveling on the other side, you know, um, top to bottom, but now this is swiveling this way. No problem. Um, it is a steel, it's incredibly heavy, this storage tray. So as some of you who have this um, Reeves um, workstation will know that this is a very lightweight um, drawing board and this work tray is heavier than um, the, the, work uh, the workstation. So, <laughs> Um, because this, um, oh, by the way, this foam is really handy for putting in the brushes you're working with because one of the big, big annoyances I had was that when I was working, my pencils, I would put like so on my drawing top and with my elbow or with my sleeve, for some reason, I would always shove them off and they would break. And last week I had two Luminance pencils you know, fall off, roll off the desk onto the floor and the leads broke. I mean, they are expensive pencils. So that's when I decided I really needed a solution now. So um, we sawed this in half with a metal saw, you know, just a hand saw. It's just really easy. And my, my husband did that for me. have to be honest about that, but I could have done it myself. And um, then you have to just um, use a little um something to to make it even so that it's not sharp so you won't cut yourself that's something you have to keep in mind if you do what i did but we also and now i have to now i have to take some stuff off 
here. I didn't prepare this video. This is my morning page. I was really, really tired this morning. Couldn't wake up, so I did a little collage with a hyena mouth. Um, okay, so this is a steel train. The great thing about it is that if you have magnets, you can just, um, if you have an example image that you want to use to draw, you can just stick it on there with a magnet. That's what I wanted to show you earlier on. Okay, so let's see. I hope not everything is going to fall now. So what's under here <laughs> is, oh, here is some paint trays that I just put underneath. Oh, God. I really did not prepare this. But anyway, as you can see, now there is a steel little beam running from left to right, which used to be a very thin wooden stick. And there is a wooden beam that we used to, um, that we also put in there to um, give this table a little more sturdiness. And it works. It creaks a little now, the table, but it doesn't bend in very much anymore. And with the extra weight, that was a real concern of mine. So I'm going to try and put this back in. Hold on. Okay. So back in its place. Not too much fell out. But, um, you know, I always work on um, the lightest um, slant. So it's only 25, 30 degrees, I think. But it's just really fantastic if you want to... Um, if you want, if you need a slanted worktop like this, then it's so great to have the storage here. I think I'm also going to cut this one up because I don't need all of these holes because I'm not going to stick all of the pencils in or all of my brushes. I will always just be using, um, I will always just be putting the things in that I'm using at that moment. There is um this in here. What's it called? Um, uh, no, 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 the word won't come. Anyway, you can stick your phone in if you like. My phone has a cover and that won't fit in here, but I wouldn't put my phone in there. That would be for a ruler or, well, anything, basically a um, compass or whatever. So um, this was my, um, my solution for working on a slanted worktop without needing to reorganize my studio completely wrecking my desk and um, putting in a drawing table. So this is an option and um, you know, this was kind of cheap. This I bought at Amazon for 53 euros. So it's going to be roughly $60, although I think it's going to be less expensive in the States. And this was the 91 centimeter wide thing because this is 50 centimeters from top to bottom, 50 by 75 centimeters. So if you have this, it fits very neatly. And you can, you could, if you want, also put this up here, you know, so um, then there, then you have a little more space here. Um, but this drawing table, even with the storage on, is still mobile. I can still fold it up and put it away. It's going to be heavier and you've got to be careful that you don't, um that you don't um uh, damage things but still if you take these out then you know the, then it's just the depth is just as much as it used to be before these cups were in so well i hope you enjoyed my little trip of my workstation and perhaps it give you an idea for some you know it's a lot more it's a lot better for your neck, shoulders and arms to be working on a slanted worktop and also for the perspective of your drawings. Um, like I'm doing super detailed work right now on a drawing that I'm working on and you know, it sort of takes forever. And um, this is something that I really like this worktop for because it just, it just helps me relax all the muscles in my neck and shoulders. So. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you like these videos, head over to my YouTube channel. Just find Mendy van Goeie. Um, I have a lot of watercolor videos mainly. And um, if you like my work, you can also check out my website. Thank you for watching. Bye.